It's Outside FM News every hour on the hour, brought to you by Macrocom, Smart Made Simple. Vanakam, Namaskaram, 6 o'clock, good morning. In your news this hour, former National Assembly Speaker Nosivi Vema Pisa is expected back in court in June after being released on 50,000 rand bail. Mapisa Ndakula has appeared in the Pretoria Magistrates Court on charges of corruption and money. charges date back to 2016 when she was the Minister of Defence and Military Veterans. Mapisa Ndakula faces one count of money laundering and multiple counts of corruption and fraud for allegedly soliciting and receiving bribes from a service provider. The bribes are allegedly worth about 4.5 million rand. Moving on. The Democratic Alliance has called for the urgent election of a new National Assembly Speaker. Mapisa Ngakula has resigned from the position. The party says the Constitution demands that the National Assembly must elect a new Speaker from among its members to fill the vacancy. The DA, Sibiwe Warube, says they will write to Parliament Secretary Dolire George to initiate the necessary processes. Gwarube says this is important as Parliament must conclude outstanding matters before the administrative term ends next month. This is also crucially important because there is an outstanding case against Ms. Mapisa Ngagula and Mr. Masondo in their capacities as the executive authority where they sanctioned a 70% salary hike of the Secretary to Parliament and therefore answers are still needed as it pertains to that case, particularly as it pertains to Ms. Mapisa Ngagula's role and the fact that should she be found to have contravened the Powers and Privileges and Immunities Act, she can still be charged criminally as an ordinary citizen. In other news, the South African Weather Service says cooler and wet weather conditions are expected over large parts of the country this week going into next week. SAWS says an intense low pressure system known as a cutoff low is forecasted to bring widespread showers and thunder showers to many parts of the country. Cutoff lows are large weather systems notorious for causing widespread flooding. The Weather Service says areas that will be affected include the Western Cape, the Northern Cape, and the Eastern Cape. And in your international news, an elderly American tourist has been killed by an aggressive elephant during a safari drive in Zambia. Officials confirmed that the elephant killed the 80-year-old woman at Kafue National Park in the west of the country. In a video circulating online, the large elephant could be seen flipping the car carrying six people over several times. The CEO of the safari group, Keith Vincent, said the vehicle was blocked by the terrain and couldn't move out. A short while ago, gold was selling at $2,274.11 a fine ounce. A barrel of Brent crude cost $90.96. One U.S. dollar is trading at 18 rand 77. One British pound is 23 rand 69. One euro is 20 rand 32. And the Durham is trading at 5 rand 11 cents. It's currently 4 rupees 45 in Indian rupees to the rand and 2 rupees 47 in Mauritian rupees to the rand. The price for one Bitcoin is currently trading at $65,760.50. Your top story this hour Former National Assembly Speaker Nosibiwe Mapisa Ngakula is expected back in court in June after being released on 50,000 rand bail. This bulletin brought to you by Macrocom, smart made simple. For the Southside FM News team, I'm Leah Ganesson. The only way to kickstart your day. <laughs> Wake up the right way. We're putting the good in good morning. Mm, let's get ready. The Big Breakfast Show. <laughs> With Mishanth and Nayar. <laughs> On Southside FM.
his heart in every line. Marvin, sang of the joy and That's the Commodore's Night Shift. Eight minutes after six o'clock on the Big Breakfast Show, Southside FM 107.2. Good morning to you. I'll tell you what, it's been an absolutely long week. And you know what? Thank God it's Friday because I don't know how much more I had in me. I'll tell you what, the tank is on reserve at the moment. And I need this weekend uh, to relax and uh, to rejuvenate, to revitalize. I don't know about you, but it's been, although it's been a short week, it's been a long week, man. I tell you what, uh, having a look at the traffic this morning, we've got a stationary vehicle on the N2 northbound. That's just past a Spaghetti Junction. The travel lane is affected there. I'm not sure which lane it's sitting on, but it's cause, going to cause a problem there because we've already got roadworks in that area. Now you've got a stationary vehicle to deal with as well. So be on the lookout for that. Out in Gauteng, nothing to report. There was an incident in the vicinity of Bayes Nodia. Uh, at about 5 o'clock this morning, I see that's now cleared and taken care of. Having a look at the weather this morning, Durban on a high of 25 degrees. We are expecting 30% chance of rain today. Tomorrow, uh, we are going to be reaching a high of 19 degrees. So it's a good idea to get the jackets out. And also, we're going to be experiencing about 80% chance of rain tomorrow. Also on Sunday, 19 is our maximum with 80%, 80 chance of rain. Escort 26, Giants Castle on 23, Copa on 24, Cogstar 22, Ladysmith 29. Margate, if you are planning a trip down the coast this weekend, I suggest you bundle up. It's going to be a cold, nippy uh, weekend at uh, Margate. 24 degrees today. 
18 tomorrow, 19 on Sunday. Moirafir on 25, Newcastle 27, Peter Marisburg 24, Port Shepston 24, Richards Bay 25, St. Lucia 26, Lundi 28, Underberg 23, and Freyhead on 28 degrees. We are in for a relatively cold weekend on the KZN side of the, of the country with the maximum temperatures. I see the highest here that we can expect. Uh, this weekend is in Richards Bay. A whole 22 degrees is what we're going to be looking at at Richards Bay on Sunday. But the rest of the weekend, we're looking to the high teens as our maximum. Let's mark the register 0743454477. Let us know who you are and where you're from. Send me a WhatsApp voice note. I'll put you on the radio this morning. Send me a text message. I'll be happy to read that out for you. We are live on Facebook and YouTube. So if you have a smart TV, you can go to our Southside FM YouTube channel and uh, you stream us live in your lounge or your bedroom or wherever it is that you have a TV and you'll be there. You'll be in the studio. Good morning to you. The only way to kickstart your day, <laughs> the Big Breakfast Show with the Shot the Night on Southside FM 107.2. Oh, oh.
15 minutes now after 6 o'clock. Good morning, G. It's a little bit windy this morning, but nothing too concerning. Now, it is the silly season here in South Africa. And I don't mean Christmas. I mean it is election season in this country. And a lot of politicians and councillors and the like will be taking to media. We can't even call it social media anymore. It's all media now. And they'll be promising a whole host of goodies in the attempts to persuade potential voters to give them an X come election day on the 29th of May. Now, IOL and independent media announced recently that they have commissioned the African Innovation Research uh, of South Africa, URSA, a subsidiary of African Innovation Solutions to conduct bi-weekly polls in the run-up to this year's national and provincial election. So they basically commissioned a survey and uh, it was done in three metropolitan so far. So it's the city of Johannesburg, Durban and Cape Town and a sample size of 1,000 people uh, provided valuable insights into their views on voter registration, upcoming elections, perceptions of the president preferences for the next president, party predictions, and youth-related issues. Now, the first uh, bunch of results is out, and the preferences for the next president, when asked who they would prefer as the next president, respondents provided a diverse range of names, including political figures, activists, and individuals. Their preferences, uh, their choice for president, ordered from uh, highest to lowest percentages are as follows. Julius Selo Malema with a whopping 21.45% of the people said Julius Selo Malema. Jacob Zuma received 21.45%. And we know that's, that, that, that's not possible because the IEC has already said Jacob Zuma cannot run for the presidency. John Steenhuisen, 526 Meanwhile, Sil Ramaphosa, 15.56% of the votes. And Herman Mashaba, 294 Julius Maleba and Jacob Zuma emerged the most preferred candidates. And uh, Cyril Ramaphosa is in third, followed by John Stienhazen and Herman Mashaba bringing up the flank. When asked which party they prefer, 20%, just more than 20%, said they preferred the EFF, while 19% said they preferred the ANC, 10% wanting the DA, 16.1% wanting the Mkonto Wasizwe party, and 8% said no vote. Youth issues on youth issues, the ANC, he came out on top with a whopping 51 odd and look by uh, the uh, no sorry the EFF came out on top yeah I'm just looking at the key very quickly the EFF came out on top with 50 51% of it uh, followed by the ANC and the DA thereafter so it's going to be very interesting I like this uh, to see they're sampling a size of a thousand at a time and it's bi-weekly so every week they will be conducting two of these uh, polls and it's nice to see the results so we know which direction we're heading in here. Mapisa Nga Kula resignation calls for action. Political uh, responses are divided here. Yeah? The resignation of the former National Assembly Speaker Nosi Viwe Mapisa Nga Kula has ignited a flurry of responses from various political quarters with uh, some welcoming the decision while others are clamoring for immediate legal action. Several parties have welcomed the former Speaker's uh, decision to, to resign but called for her immediate arrest. Speaking to reports at uh, the signing of the Code of Conduct ahead of the elections, the EFF Treasurer General uh, said the former Speaker must now face the music alone because she protected criminals who cannot protect her now. She said the image of the party was not tainted. It is uh, the ANC that deployed her to parliament. So it is uh, the ANC that wanted to taint our parliament, said the um, EFF Treasurer General. Went on to say that uh, they were in a position where all arms of the state were corrupt. She mentioned that the Palapala Farm uh, Gate saga will, was still hanging over President Cyril Ramaphosa's head. But Leah Gresson said that she has been now released on 50,000 rands bail. Labour Minister Tulas Nexi launches a jobs uh, training and entrepreneurship 
program, the Unemployment Insurance Fund's Labor Activation Program, LAP, will be first launched in Gauteng with the provincial government and uh, then it will be progressively rolled out during April throughout the various provinces. Next, he uh, said he is determined to strengthen employment uh, creation in the country. LAP projects uh, build on a mandate that include enhancing the employability of uh, unemployed uh, through training, enable entrepreneurship through enterprise development, preserve jobs through CCMA and productivity essay, collaborate across government departments to and entities to ma uh, massify jobs, skills, training and enterprise creation. Labor activation programs are not a silver bullet to end the challenge of unemployment, but they are a viable force uh, multiplier that can be used to strengthen with the other other initiatives and interventions as part of a response to mitigate unemployment, the minister said. The department has decided to partner with the private sector to create thousands of employment opportunities in South Africa. And we're going to leave it there now for current affairs. We're going to come back and tell you about how Curo Holdings has come into fire in the media over recent 20 minutes now after 6 o'clock. Let's continue marking the register 074-345-447. The only way to kickstart your day, the Big Breakfast Show with the Show the Night on Southside FM 107.2. You're just like my baby song going round and round my head. Like my baby song going round and round my head. Five days on the freeway, riding shotgun with you. Yeah. Two hearts in the fast lane, we had big dreams in blue. Yeah. Playing sweet child of mine, and I still feel that line. Where are you now? Where are you now? Hey, it's been too long, too long ago, my love. Where You're just like my baby song going round, round my head. Like my baby song going round, round my head. You're just like my baby song going round, round my head. Like my baby song going round, round my head. Hey. <laughs> Three minutes after six o'clock. Good morning to you. Now, Cura Holdings, a very uppity school organization in South Africa, has come under fire in the recent week. And this is because they put out an advert of two young girls in their school. Uh, one is a cashier at Checkers, and the other is a veterinarian. Now, we wouldn't have seen any problem with it. However, what they did was they've shown a black girl as the cashier at uh, Checkers and the white girl as a veterinarian. Now, what's happened here is it's caused a big problem on social media. We can't even call it social media anymore. We're just going to call it media man. Kuro Holdings has engaged external and independents to conduct a review and hold workshops and training sessions for its social media team. This the independent education group said is part of its plans to reaffirm its commitment to diversity and non-racism. In response to questions put forward by IOL, Kira Holding Special Project Portfolio Manager Melanie uh, Fontaine Deer said uh, the institution is also conducting an awareness and sensitivity campaign about social media for, se for senior and mid-level leadership at its schools. The intervention comes in the wake of a social media storm in which Kiro was accused of stereotyping children in its latest marketing campaign. Kiro Holdings came under fire this week for an ad 
advert that went viral showing a black child employed as a cashier while a white child was employed as a veterinarian. We immediately suspended the campaign and associated social media activities, which gave rise to the incident. We are reviewing all social media practices, policies and guidelines from the ground up, Fountain Deer said. She said Curo is improving its formal onboarding for staff to ensure a deep understanding of the institution's values and policies and effective adherence there too. Curo is also uh, clarified its, uh, that its internal investigation uh, have established that the images of the children were part of an excursion by learners at uh, Curo School in the Western Cape. They originated from a visit to an activity center in which the children had an opportunity to play alternate roles, each including that of a cashier, veterinarian and a banker. Meanwhile, the Gauteng Department of Education clears Cura Holdings after investigation into racist advert. The Gauteng Department of Education said it conducted an investigation regarding racist pictures that went viral on social media and it was also satisfied that Cura Holdings takes social cohesion seriously. The investigation comes after the advert causing public outcry showed a black child employed as a cashier while a white child was employed as a veterinarian. In a statement released on Thursday, the department said the pictures used used in a social media post were from a Curo uh, branch in the Western Cape. GDE spokesperson Steve Mobana said the school went on an excursion to an activity center where they interacted within various career contexts, including career-specific apparatus. Uh, in this activity center, most children had to exchange roles to experience different careers, and photos were taken of all of them interacting within those career roles. It was probably just an unfortunate seed, a, a chain of events that led to this situation. And now South African citizens have blown it totally out of proportion. If the roles were reversed, no one would have said anything. Now that they find themselves in this situation, I'm laughing because that's how ridiculous people can be on social media. And it's very, very unfortunate that the school had to find themselves in this sticky situation. 27 minutes now after 6 o'clock. Let's have a look at the register very quickly this morning. Uh, let's start at the bottom. Yeah, Rani is present. Vimla in Tongat. Sundri is present. Welcome, Ishantanama. Welcome. And a big breakfast tip. The Modalis are present. Have a blessed day. Love your lots. Good morning to you. Naomi is present. Saloshni in Southgate, Phoenix, Sarojni. Uh, Kasturi Chetty in Chatsworth. Denise is uh, present this morning. Best weekend uh, to rest because it's going to be raining. Definitely cuddly weather under the blanket. Uh, weekend and good movies with popcorn. Going to be my weekend. I agree. I agree. I've got a bit of work to do on Sunday, but other than that, I'm fine. Uh, Kale Vanagam, uh, Leon is present this morning. Tashdia just rocked up, so good morning to her as well. She's marked the register. Don Paul and Gina Kestia are present. Selvi is present this morning. Dina in uh, Marvin. NHPMG is present. Have a beautiful weekend. Location in Richards Bay. Well, I don't know if he's still in Richards Bay or still in Chatsworth, but how's his view? He's got a very nice view this morning. Pam Padiachi is uh, present. Salvin. And Malika Chetty of Newlands. Katz is present this morning. Roy Chen Sami, Salvi Naidu. Vasagi Chen Sami is present. Linda Subramani as well. Morning, Linda Governor from Isipingo present. Linda Governor from Isipingo is present. Hi, Mishantan. Kubz and Kesh from Vietnam present. Hope you have a fabulous weekend. Take care. I love when people send me voice notes. You talk about social cohesion and biodiversity. I'm talking about radio diversity here. You don't only want to hear mine and Tashriya's voices all the time, isn't it? It'll be nice to put everybody on the radio, isn't it, Tashri? I agree. I agree as well. It makes my life so much easier, especially when you send birthday messages and anniversary and, messages. And, when and now wishes... I'm and now I'm inserted in your relationship. Yeah, you and um, who was it? You, you and, and Sugendri have a, and we, we've you, got a we've got an open marriage that. happening. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I beg you, mm. I beg you, I'm asking from the bottom of my heart with tears in my eyes as an Amman devotee on a Friday. 
So dramatic. Yeah, well, I, right. I have to. I, otherwise, they won't get the message, okay? okay? Leave me alone. All right, all right. So, I'm asking nicely. If you're sending birthday messages or anniversary messages or lovey-dovey messages, send a voice note. It, it makes... makes it's not <laughs> awkward. Good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it is the Big Breakfast Show on South on FM 107.2. Good morning. The only way to kickstart your day. <laughs> Wake up the right way. We're putting the good in good morning. Mm, let's get ready to rumble. The Big Breakfast Show. <laughs> With Mishanth <Michelle> Nanda. <laughs> On Southside FM 107.2 No, <laughs> Three minutes after six o'clock. Good morning to you. I still got that stationary vehicle on the end to uh, northbound. That's just past Spaghetti Junction. A couple with the roadworks there. You can't park the car there of all the places. Yeah, why would you... And it's on the travel lane even. Oh, no. Yeah, so if you are traveling that way, you go, you're going to be ha- have to look out for that one. On the N1 southbound in Johannesburg, there's a multi-vehicle crash. That's after the ramp uh, to Oliphant's Fontaine. The left lane and left shoulder is blocked. And then on the west strand, I've got a single vehicle crash. I don't know what it's crashed with, but this is before the ramp to Malibongwe Drive. It just happened. Both accidents actually. Actually, just happened now, now, now. Uh, I've got another bit of traffic to tell you about. That's uh, on the N12 westbound before the Galulis R24 ramp. Uh, you're going to find queuing traffic there. All lanes are open. 
but traffic is backed up there. Continuing with the register this morning. Uh, hey there, sorry what's happening to uh, Kuro is called karma apparently. As a parent and employee, one would be shocked at what actually goes on behind closed doors. All I'm saying, who is this from? Uh, cats. Okay. Uh, Ashley Kiston uh, has sent us something that we'll play for you just now. Uh, good morning uh, and welcome Southside FM and the breakfast team. Mr. and Mrs. Lee Archery are present this morning. Good morning, Ms. Shantan and Tashria. No, I am in, still in Chatsworth, not in Riches Bay. That's the location from <laughs> Riches Bay in Chatsworth. Good morning, breakfast team. My mom, Ragni Gamanda, and my wife, Natasha, are present. Welcome to Friday. Uh, another scorching day today. And... Uh, we got four seasons this weekend, so hope everybody is uh, safe and uh, enjoy. Have a blessed day, Yogan. That's Yogan in Chatsworth. Now, the VIP protection policy divides the city of Johannesburg. I'll tell you about it now. This uh, Johannesburg City Council has recently voted in favor of a policy to allow councillors says VIP protection. It's reported that this adjusted VIP risk management system policy will allow each of the 270 councillors and other committee members access to two VIP security guards without needing a South African police services risk assessment. So usually what would happen mm -hmm. is uh, you would apply to SAPS to say that the job that you are doing is high risk and you need VIP protection and then SAPS will conduct a risk assessment and says, okay, fine, you need one or you need two. Now, this costs the taxpayers about 54,500 rands a month for one. One. Just one VIP protection guard. Now, I ask you, all right, mm -hmm. what makes our jobs any different? So, what makes Mishantan different? What makes Tashria different? What makes Tansen different? That we also don't need, or even you listening to us at the moment, that we also don't need VIP uh, protection services. Now, the councillors would argue that because of the job portfolio that they are in, they would need extra security. But yeah. I would argue the point, if you do your job properly, no one would want to attack you. That is the true. <laughs> that is the obvious. If you do your I mean, job properly, if you if you mind your business and you don't have toes and you sort out the potholes and you fix the street lights, who's going to attack you? But then also, like if you're dealing with, like, say, a drug lord, for example, they have contacts and they have people that will come after you. Well, you know what? That that day boils down to the South African Police Services. You must go and report it and let the, the and let them take care. But I don't think ward councillors do that kind of a job. Yeah. I think ward councillors are just there to fix the pipes. <laughs> you want I'll to become a ward councillor? I'll tell you about what 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 happened in our ward, right? Yeah. So. You know, with the April 2022 floods, mm. we've had an excavation that was open. Okay. It was open for the better part of a year. Right, right. Right? The better part of the year. And we are a DA ward. Mm -hmm. And when the news broke that I'm interviewing John Steenhazen, that hole got closed so fast <laughs> because it was one of my questions. Really? <laughs> you had it there? I had it as part of... See, listen, John, I've got a hole that's open here. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do to fix what it? What can you do about it? Because we can't drive down that way. Now we have to go the other way. <laughs> and it's like two minutes out of our way now but to go the other way. Two minutes. But still, imagine the whole area now that used to go that way is now going in another location to come around it. But I mean, at least it got sorted out. Um, yeah, on the on the day, like when I was coming to, when I was going to Musgrave that morning, I was like, mm. ha, they closed the hole. They closed it. Wow, well done <laughs> to those that did oh that. Oh my goodness. So I'm saying what makes their jobs any different? Uh, Kivash and Reddy from Chatsworth is present this morning. Vanakam Breakfast Team, happy Friday. Rachel is present. 
I cannot believe it's Friday, but I'm grateful that it is yeah, Friday. Yeah, last week this time we were in Isipingo Temple. Although it's been a relatively short week. Yeah. It's been a quick week, but I feel drained. Yeah. I'm I feel drained. I feel miserable. I want to sleep now. But we did that on Monday. Where we both just slept the whole Yeah, day. but it wasn't enough. Yeah. That like, I just true. want to do nothing. I don't want to wake up at half past three. And come well, here. tomorrow you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, so tomorrow is fine, Sunday is fine. And hopefully I am recharged and ready for Monday. I'm sure. Now, what's happening in this world, that wonderful world that we live in, is they have now successfully transplanted organs from a pig to a human being. Yeah, the kidney. The kidney. And that man you said is getting discharged he now. He got discharged yesterday. Imagine. And he's a walking miracle. He's a walking miracle. So I ask you the question this morning. 0743454447. Would you allow an organ from a pig and the pig has the closest DNA to us. Uh, I remember they interviewed a, a bunch of cannibals. Mm-hmm. So you know what cannibals are? People that eat other people. People that eat people. Yeah, yeah. and not in a nice way. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> so what, they use like aromat and spice? No, and they stuff. don't eat you in a nice way. <laughs> they, 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 they devour you. Ew. They devour you. And they asked him, uh, what does humans, human beings taste like? Or what do human beings taste like? And he said they taste like pork. They wow. taste like pig. Guys, I wonder if it's honey glazed. So, <laughs> would you be open to accepting a transplant from a pig, an organ? If you need a liver, if you need a kidney, if you need any anything, anything that the pig can provide, <laughs> that the pig can provide. Mm. We we laughing, but there are people out there that are. Desperately needing a transplant of water. And it's usually kidneys because if you look at the amount of people that go for dialysis, mm. the kidney is in is in demand. So would you be open to allowing a, 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 the pig to, to, to lend you an organ? Obviously, it's genetically engineered, this pig. And obviously, it's been tested before. So they're not... Um... But I'm, I'm saying they've done it already and this man is now walking and talking. and. Mm-hmm. If it works, why not, you know? Why not, you know? I, I don't mind. You don't mind? What if then now you find a Muslim man for yourself? I was going to die Are anyway you going to declare that my, you have a... My family would... Because there's a lot of religious red tape yeah. surrounding the transplant. Even we, we, we find a lot of uh, Hindus don't eat pork. Mm. Outside the house, they'll eat... I always wondered how that works. I don't eat inside, I eat outside. Outside, yeah. I don't know what the difference that makes, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, would you be open or would you be willing to accept an organ that is g- being given to you by a pig? 074-345-4447. Tashlia. If it works, it works, you know. 100%. Yeah. 100%. You're listening to The Big Breakfast Show. Hi. We put the good in good morning. Good morning. There's a stranger in my bed. There's a pounding in my head. Glitter all over the room. Pink flamingos in the pool. I smell like a mini bar. DJ's passed out in the yard. Bobby's on the barbecue. This a hickey or a bruise. Pictures of last night ended up online. I screwed.
TGIF Manfraye Vibes Katy Perry last Friday night 15 minutes now to the hour Good morning They wrote the song for me back yeah. in my day yeah. I used to dance on tabletops So lovely <laughs> Okay, let's have a look, see what's happening here. Rockney Governor says, Welcome uh, to the breakfast team. My son, Yogan, daughter in law, Natasha, and me, Rockney Governor. Have a blessed day. They're all present. Uh, this one's from Roshni. has said, the, With the pig organ, if it works, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Vasaki Chin Sami says, No, I will not. It does not go with our spiritual teachings. But here's the thing what if you. That's the only way you're going to survive. What if it's like a life and death situation? And the only way, there's no other kidney available for you. No one no one has a kidney to give yeah. you. And they said, all right, we got a pig here. We can transplant the kidney from the pig to you. And then you say no. And then you die. And then you go ask God, how could you be so cruel? And God like, but I gave you an option. I gave you a chance. <laughs> I gave you an option. You said no. <laughs> you didn't so. want it. Anyway, find a seat. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. You're going to be here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Until everybody else joins you. So just right now. Uh, Uncle Roy has already started. Listen, it's a big weekend in the English Premier League this weekend. Very big. It's a big weekend. <laughs> Uh, catch 22, like uh, Michantan, uh, like uh, Manchester United's catch 22. Such. Well, United lost yesterday and Chelsea beat them, so just. Yeah, Chelsea is beating them, but we are playing them at Old Trafford. Not the last time we played them at Old Trafford. Yeah. We came, <laughs> we, we were the brand ambassadors for 7 Up. 7 Up, for yeah. 7 Up. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, we are playing Hey. I know that movie. I know that movie. It's one of our favorites. I love this I can movie. sit on Disney and watch this thing. Same, man. same. I can start from. The, the beginning. beginning. So, yeah. 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 Me too. So, we want to know the name of the movie that this theme song comes from. Ready? Ready. Ashley is busy having a sword fight. I was doing the, uh, the act. She's busy <laughs> having a sword re- fight. Yeah. We that. want to know the name of this movie. Now, very, very, very uh, interestingly enough, the main character from this movie was also Char- uh, Willy Wonka. Yeah, from he, Charlie and the He Charlie was also action. Edward Scissorhands. Mm-hmm. He was a whole. He was Amber Heard's husband. He was the mad. Uh, the Mad Hatter. The Mad Hatter. The Mad from Hatter. Alice in Wonderland, yeah. But I think the the most dangerous of all the roles was Amber Heard's husband. <laughs> <laughs> that role. I watched a... I watched the thing on Netflix. Oh, did you? I watched it and I was like, my goodness, this lady was cray cray. She wasn't well. She was she cray cray. She hey? was she Delulu is an understatement. Uh-huh. He had a jar of cocaine. <laughs> a jar. <laughs> I got a jar. <laughs> That would kill me. <laughs> My dog stepped on a bee. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know the name of the movie that this theme song comes from. I promise you, I don't think this movie will ever not be boring. Never, ever. Or will ever be boring. Mm-mm. It's too interesting. Yeah. If you if you need a clue, his name is Captain Jack Sparrow. Sparrow. Sp- they don't say Sparrow. They, they say, say Sparrow. Sparrow. Yeah. It's Jack Sparrow. And they say it in that like really deep like voice. Especially when Davy Jones says it. Oh, Davy Jones. Davy Jones. Davy Jones. The Flying Dutchman. Flying Dutchman. The Flying Dutchman. All right, if you know the name of this movie, 074 345 7 is that number. Good morning. Tell 
Good morning to you. Tashlia is beside herself this morning. Sorry. She can't believe what she's hearing. I'm sorry. She can't believe what <laughs> she's hearing. Her anthem. Her anthem. My anthem. How's it? How's it? How's it? It is Pirates of the Caribbean featuring Captain Jack Sparrow. It's location from Richard Bay. Good morning, my shattered by Antasha Akka. This is Shahjeen reporting live from Amazon Toti. The answer is Pirates of the Caribbean. Thank you. Uh, Michelle Reddy from Woodhurst gave us the right answer. Gina Woodley Devon says Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, Vasgi Chinsami gave us the right answer. Pirates of the Caribbean. Kavi Govinda in Malvin. Uh, <laughs> it says, you mean Amber Turd's husband. <laughs> <laughs> Because what she did to his pillow. No man, she... Is it pillow or is it pillow? We're not from jo- Johannesburg. We say pillow. Is it pillow or pillow? Hello? Pillow. I know my aunt says pillow. Pillow. But she's from Lanasia. <laughs> from Lens? From Lens, yeah. Yeah, but then she should be saying pillow. She says, put the pillow on the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Roy so Jinsavi gave us the right answer. Kali, welcome to the Big Breakfast Show. The What? name of the movie is Pirates of the Caribbean by Jack Sparrow. Johnny Depp. Nandri, welcome. Love, Sayanthi. That's Pirates of the Caribbean. Morning, guys. It's Priya Govinda. The name of that movie is The Pirates of the Caribbean. I would also like to take this opportunity today to wish my dear brother, Donovan Chetty of Newlands West, a very happy birthday for today. I hope you have an amazing day and love you tons. It also comes from Prashant and Govinda of Reservoir Hills. Uh, Pravashni Roxanne, Governor says Pirates of the Caribbean, Malini, Pele, Maligav and uh, Selvan Chetty of Newlands gave us the right answer. Rani, Salvi, Naidu, Deshni, Pele, Veni, Pele, Dina and uh, Sundi all saying Pirates of the Caribbean. Well done everyone. All right, let's have a look at the Noah Roads trying to help you navigate this morning on the N2 northbound stationary vehicle before the ramp to Spaghetti Junction. Uh, one lane, the travel lane is 
Look, they, they're not telling me which one. It's been there since about quarter past six this morning. So if you are heading that way, be on the lookout for that person. Uh, on the N3 eastbound, they're reporting a stationary vehicle that's off the ramp from Allen Patton Avenue. One left lane is blocked. They're out in Gauteng this morning. Just waiting for it to load very quickly. Starting off on the N12 westbound, there's a there's a truck that lost its load. That's after the ramp to Reading Interchange. Three li- right lanes and the shoulder are blocked there. Uh, on the, uh, in the vicinity of Galulis, a stationary vehicle. That's before. That's after the ramp to the N3 Galulis northbound. Uh, we've got another one here. Stationary vehicle on the travel lane on the N3 southbound. That's after the ramp from Van Buren Road. One left lane is blocked there. Out uh, on the N1 southbound, single vehicle crash. That's before the ramp to Malibongwe Drive. The right lane and right shoulder is blocked there. There's a multi-vehicle crash on the N1 southbound. That's after the ramp to Olifant's Fontaine. Left lane and left shoulder is blocked. And then finally... On the N12 eastbound, there is a vehicle that's crashed with a fixed object. That's before the ramp to Tom Jones on the R23. One right lane is blocked. There. That's there by Lakeside. So if you're heading that way, please be on the lookout for that. When we come back, Leah Ganesan has your 7 o'clock news bulletin. Tashria has your weather report. And the way in the world is Max. <laughs> Avatumba Katane Ambi Lambano Washukumari Washengari Yangalangari Washukumari To kickstart your day, <laughs> wake up the right way. We're putting the good in good morning. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. The Big Breakfast Show. <laughs> With Mishantan Knight. <laughs> On Southside <laughs> FM. 107.2. <laughs> Outside FM News, every hour on the hour, brought to you by Macro Calm, Smart Made Simple. Vanakam, Namaskaram, 7 o'clock, good morning. In your news this hour, two South Africans are currently serving in the Israeli Defense Forces.
This is according to the Palestine Solidarity Campaign. More than 70 cases of South Africans serving in the Israel Defense Forces have been submitted to the prosecuting authority over the past 10 years. The PSC's Yusuf Chikte reported the matter at the Cape Town Central Police Station yesterday. According to social media posts, the two South Africans were participating in Israel's campaign in Palestine and Gaza in particular. Moving on, the Independent Electoral Commission's Chief Electoral Officer, Saima Mabolo, says IEC staff must use social media responsibly. Mamabolo was speaking at the Electoral Code of Conduct signing ceremony in Midrand in Gauteng. Political parties and independent candidates signed an election peace pledge ahead of the upcoming elections next month. He says it is necessary for the Commission's staff members to exercise extreme caution when posting content on social media. For every word we utter, and every post we place has ramification for the credibility of the electoral process. In other news, economists have urged South Africans not to worry about food shortages. This comes amid continuous drought conditions and the risk of higher food inflation. El Nino weather patterns causing drought conditions in southern Africa are raising food inflation concerns among economists. However, Agbis chief economist Wandile Sislobo says although the government should do all it can to mitigate the risk, it should steer clear of panic-induced policy interventions. He says the government should avoid implementing export bans and price caps or else risk the country's long-term food security. And in your international news... The Danish military has closed airspace and shipping lanes near a major shipping strait off the Danish coast. This comes after a missile failure on a Navy ship. Local reports say the National Maritime Authority has issued a warning for vessels to avoid part of the Great Belt Strait. Ships have been asked to drop anchor if necessary. A short while ago, gold was selling at $2,270.11 a fine ounce. A barrel of Brent crude costs ninety dollars ninety six cents. One U.S. dollar is trading at eighteen rand seventy seven. One British pound is twenty three rand sixty nine. One euro is twenty rand thirty two, and the dirham is five rand eleven cents. It's currently four rupees forty five in Indian rupees to the rand, and two rupees forty seven in Mauritian rupees to the rand. The price for one bitcoin is currently trading at sixty five thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars and fifty cents. Your top story this hour, two South Africans are currently serving in the Israeli Defense Forces. This bulletin brought to you by Macrocom, smart made simple. For the Southside FM News team, I'm Leah Gnesson. The Big Breakfast Show. The Big Breakfast Show. Having a look at your weather this morning, Durban's on a high of 26 degrees. It's currently 22 now and mostly sunny. Windy conditions from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. With partly cloudy conditions at 6 p.m. this afternoon. Today's temperature ranges from 19 to 26. Moving on, and now Escort 26, Giants Castle 23, Ecopo 24, Cockstar 22, Ladysmith 29, Margate 24, Moirafir 25, Newcastle 27, Peter Maritzburg 24, Port Chepston 24, Richards Bay 25, St. Lucia 26, Ulundi 28, Underberg 23, and Freyhates on 28 degrees. Having a look at the rest of the country now, Polokwane 26, Mbombela 30, Pretoria 25, Johannesburg 25, Bloemfontein 28, Kimberley 28, and Cape Town on 18 degrees. Ashanti Naidu, hotter than your Alma's crab curry.
It's a wedding eve somewhere today. I can tell you that. Somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere today there's a wedding eve. All yep. right. Uh, having a look at the traffic this morning, I've got another stationary vehicle on the end to uh, northbound. That's after the ramp from uh, the Spaghetti Junction. And then one before that, uh, stationary vehicle there. And also on the end to... So there's two. There's two stationary vehicles. The first one on the end to northbound, that's a truck that's broken down before uh, the end three... Uh, pavilion and in the Durban and then after that you're going to find another stationary vehicle there out in Kauteng it's still those few accidents that are about that one by Oliphant's Fontaine that's cleared out now but there's still congestion there and that's because of the aftermath of that multi-vehicle crash otherwise nothing too concerning happening on the roads this morning where in the world is Max he says this place is famous for beer okay alcoholic yes mm-hmm uh, they also have a place on a road called the Autobahn. Hmm. Okay. He says that Albert Einstein came from this country. All right. And so too does Mercedes, BMW, and Audi. Hmm. Mercedes. Mercedes, BMW, and Audi, and also apparently a bad man by the name of Hitler, who was also there. Oh. So where in the world is Max? If you know, zero seven four three four five. Triple four seven. I'll repeat. He says this place is famous for beer. They have a stretch of road called the Autobahn. Mm-hmm. Mercedes, BMW, and Audi come from this country. So too did Albert Einstein and a bad man by the name of uh, Adolf Hitler. Okay. All right. And apparently he's in a place here called Berlin. Mm. Berlin. 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 Okay. So if you know where in the world is Max, zero seven four. Three four five a triple four seven.
12 minutes after 7 o'clock, One Direction. It is most definitely the best song ever. Way in the world is Max. We've got answers here. Kirschlin Governor says Max is in Germany. Tashi, are you happy? Germany, I'm happy with that. Well done. Deshin Palade says Max is in Germany. Gino Mudli. Uh, Michelle Naidu Roy gave us the right answer. Ronnie, uh, as soon as you said Autobahn, I knew Germany. This is from Ruhan. Uh, Logation says you had me at beer. Max is in Germany. <laughs> Look at that other uh, I mean. Sunri says Max is in Germany. Dolly governed it. Devon. You could have stopped at the first clue. Beer. Look at their references. We've got a bit of a problem here with this listenership. I can see that. Max is in Germany. Uh, Mishan and Tashe. I'm in Canada. <laughs> uh, Pravashni Governor says October uh, uh, fest beer drinking is not in October though. Uh, Priscilla Partha says Max is in Germany. Salvi, Naidu, Kevin, Mari Mutu, Kesari, Naidu says Max is in Germany. Vasagi, Chin, Sami, Salvin, and Maliga Chetty. Alma, Dina, and Hi Breakfast team, it's Germany. My niece from Jauberg. Jauberg? Jauberg mm-hmm. is immigrating to this country at the end of the month. Her name is Chantal. Oh, she's going to Germany. So you must I tell think. her, come take one banner from us and put it up there in Germany. Actually, though, that could be a plan. That could be a plan. Because we have people in Rotterdam and all these places mm-hmm. listening to us. Which country in the world would you like to go and live permanently? I wouldn't mind going to Australia. Really? Yeah. You know, I, I was thinking about this the other day, right? Mm. Literally the other day. People from this country said we the crime is too much in this country and we're going to Australia, Karen. We're going to Australia. Uh-huh. And now they're going there. Then there's the crime is not so bad, but there are like things that can kill you that can just enter your house. I heard at any about time. these um, spiders time. and stuff. That's pretty that's pretty crazy. Um, we're going to Australia, Michael. Amsterdam. We're going to Australia and we're going to live there, hey? Because this crime in South Africa is too much. Ah, bo- below and hold. <laughs> Low and behold. Below and hold. I can't, no. Uh, Amsterdam is actually... Really there nice. is a python in your ceiling. They're calling it the children's python. <laughs> They're calling it the children's python. There's <laughs> there's tarantulas the sizes of Max in Australia. I know, but I, I don't understand. Like, they're very calm when they hear or like when they see these things. Did you, did, like... did, 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 were you here when we spoke about the honesty box? No. So, I I actually watched a video of this the other day. Mm -hmm. And it was in Australia, somewhere in the farms. Right. And these farmers have a box outside, like a cart. Like, think of a lemonade cart. Yeah, yeah. They have something like this outside their houses. Uh And like, whatever they're growing, whether it's eggs or milk or bacon or whatever. Right. They've got it up on the shelves there. Okay. And all you got to do is stop your car. Get out of your car. Take whatever you want and put the money in the box. Huh. And put the money in the box and drive away. Well, if we had this here in South Africa. <laughs> it will be eat for free. It will be for free. <laughs> no one will put any money in that box. Do you think an honesty box will survive in this country Absolutely. under the right conditions? No, people will still... So I promise you, there's like a whole road of these farms. Right. And these people have have these boxes. Even in New Zealand, they do this. It's called the honesty box, the honesty system. Mm -hmm. Where you've got a whole road of farms and then you just stop your vehicle. And there's like people selling lemons, but there's no one, there's no, there's no one there. There's no shopkeeper. There's no attendant there. You take how many lemons, they tell you it's that much per lemon. You take how many lemons, you put it in your packet, and you take out your money and you put it in the box there. You put it in your no, woundy and if you and have you it here, away. you need like a security camera and you need um, some stuff because people will just take it in. But it just away. goes to show the, the quality of life in those countries. Yeah, because don't people fall their own petrol? And yeah, and here, hi. No, that happens where you go to other countries and you go fill your petrol and then you go to the, to the kiosk. Mm-hmm. And you pay for your petrol. Yeah. And even in Australia, oh my God, we're going to Australia. They've got they've got a they've got this mall system mm-hmm. where there's no cashiers at all. Tashia, they've done away with the cashiers. Okay. So you take your trolley 
and or your basket or whatever and you go through the malls i was watching mark lotting went there and he posted this video and i was like can never be can never be so he posted this he was there he did a show in australia uh-huh. and he went through the mall shopping through this supermarket shopping he got his bread and his eggs and his peloni and whatever else cold cuts you're right and then he goes and he's looking for the cashier and there's no cashier what you must do is self checkout <gasps> You scan your own you items. You scan your own items. You scan your own items and then you pack them on by yourself and then the bill will come up there and you swipe your card and go away. And then what if you take it for free? That's what I'm saying. But the thought that see only we would say what if you take it for free. In that country it's not the, the thought doesn't mean, occur yeah. to them. Okay, yeah, that does. The thought sense. doesn't occur to them. You know what? Let's just pipe some things, you know. Yeah, for them it's actually, you know, they they don't know any better you know it's just <laughs> they were brought up that way that they have to pay for what they take you know so kathy is saying morning mishantan congratulations to liverpool on the sh- on uh, on the win on sheffield and most importantly united defeated by chelsea well done chelsea thank you well done chelsea well done chelsea and then pravashni roxanne governor said as I yes I've seen that in New Zealand so much of trust the money box sits there on the road and no one takes the money out of the box at all yeah, uh, I did that in New Zealand self service shopping overseas they very advanced no it's just the crime in this country man yeah the crime in this country the crime in this country Karen like I'll give you an example my I'm cousin. living in Lelusia and we're still oh, victims no man we're still- no no <laughs> My cousin left his phone in an Uber in Dubai. I, I I I must tell you about my episode. It was the year 2018. Uh-huh. It was December. And <clears throat> I had an S8 at that time. It was the the phone to have at that mm-hmm. part of the, it just I got it it was about a, a year and a half years yeah. old. So it just literally came out. Mm. And I'm emceeing my friend's wedding that day. Mhm. at coastland and i was in the club the day before the night and we came out of the club and i left my phone in the uber and i still i had to go tashria i had to and i just collected some money at that time mm-hmm. i had to go to the closest of the, the i waited till the shop can open that sells cell phones and i had to go buy myself a new phone <laughs> Really? You didn't get it back? Ah, uh-uh, cuz I like reported it to Uber and it's like the driver can't find anything. Duh. <laughs> Duh. So, uh, my cousin left his phone in an Uber in Dubai. Yeah. And you gave him 2 hours and he had his phone back. Oh my. Because they the the security is so like intense. Yeah. That in within 2 hours he had his phone back. Oh, 20 minutes after 7 o'clock when we come back Tashria is playing alphabet so hopefully for the last time I'm tired of setting questions yeah Tamil Advancement Society together with Luxby Stars powered by M2 Events proudly presents Tamil New Year 2024 at the Amsterdamana Community Hall on the 14th of April 2:30 p.m. Sharp some of South African top artists on one stage the likes of SS TNS Richard Nyker the melodious voice of Risa Mudli Lotus FM Queen Mala Lachmanen multi talented Sagran Naidu the singer Keegan Pillai Southside of M Varthi Revadi Pillai Mary and Saga Pillai SA Sid Sriram Lubeshan Mudli all over the rock kandasami the silky voice of Lishantan Naidu SA is hot throb Dishan Kisten drama boy Shailen the lyricist Chin Naidu Nicholas Naika and an artist that took Facebook by storm Ceylon Govinda a feast of dancers will also grace the stage Paramatman Dance Theatre Kumari Shikshas Dance Institute Shivatandava Cosmic Temple of Dance Natyanjali Dance Academy Sri Sarada Institute of Arts and Culture not forgetting this year predictions with Guru Kripa Vyapuri so don't forget to catch this year Tamil New Year celebrations with the best of the best on one stage a battle level production music directed by Bella Kisten's gorgeous son Ashley Kisten
After seven o'clock, I cannot believe Ashley Kiston scripted <laughs> the ending. Not forgetting Bella Kiston's gorgeous son, Ashley Kiston. <laughs> wow, you just had to throw that in there, <laughs> like people don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. I... <laughs> All right, here we go. Sixty seconds on the clock for you, Tashlia. Okay. The game begins in three, two. It's B. Oh, B. A purple dinosaur. Bonnie. A French greeting. Bon bonjour. A South African name. Bongani. <laughs> I don't know. A type of root salad. Beetroot. What did the students protest against during the Soweto uprising? Bonjour education. Thank God. <laughs> Yay! Look Thank at me. Thank God. Yay, so now I ask you on Monday. Yeah. Yay, okay, cool. You ask me on Monday. Cool beans. <sighs> it was such a drag. I was feeling <laughs> sorry for you, so I just repeated a question. Yeah, you questions. said these ones before. I know. And I I'm just like, repeated a set of questions. I'm like, I'm, I'm so, I'm, I can't do this to you anymore. Yeah. So now I, I get to ask you, yay. Yeah, you get to ask me. But um, when we come back, we're going to have the riddle. And then I've got a very particular question to ask people. Okay. It's a very, it's a very unusual question, mm. and it's very, but it's a true question if you think about it in the long run. Okay. So you want to stay tuned for that. So after the next song, we've got Miley Cyrus party in the USA, and then we've got the riddle, and thereafter I've got a very different question to mm. ask people. Okay. With a dream, my cardigan. Welcome to the land of fame, access. Am I gonna fit in? Jumped in the cab, here I am for the first time. Look to my right, and I see the Hollywood sign. This is all so crazy. Everybody seems so famous. My tummy's turning, and I'm feeling kind of homesick. Too much pressure, and I'm nervous. That's when the taxi man turned on the radio. And a Jay Z song was on. And a Jay Z in my taxi cab everybody's looking at me now like who's that chick that's rocking kicks she gotta be from out of town so hard with my girls on around me it's definitely not a nashville party cause all i see is the letter i guess i never got the memo my tummy's turning and i'm feeling kind of homesick too much pressure and i'm nervous it's when the dj drop my
I can do anything better than you. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. What has many rings but no fingers? What has many rings but, but no fingers. fingers? What has many rings but no fingers? A jewelry shop. What has many rings but no even those rings are put on those fake fingers. But it's not a real one. What has many rings but no fingers? What has many rings but no fingers? What has many rings but no fingers? What oh, has many rings but no fingers? Mm. What has many rings but no fingers? What has many rings but no fingers, Tashria? It's not satin. Okay. What else has many rings? A cell phone. What has many rings but no fingers? A cell phone? Let's see. I'm Shantanana. The answer is a telephone. Lavarden. Same thing. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Is that I'm a on clue? fire today. Come on, Tessa. You know what? I'm on fire today. Thank you. <laughs> well done, Tashria. Ronnie gave <laughs> us the right answer. Anvin Dunfall and uh, Regina gave us the right answer. Da, Dina, Selvi, Naidu, Logi, Maliga says planets. <laughs> t- uh, telephone. Randy Naidu in Shagros. Patsy, Governor Alma, Pele, Kathy gave us the right answer. Linda, Subramani, Amit says a cell phone. Uh, Denise gave us the right answer. Um, I'll come back to that one now. A telephone says D. Denise Governor also gave us the right answer. Well done. Thank you. Well done. No, I was telling them. But even me. I mean, you know. Okay, when we come back, I've got a I've got a bit of a strange question to ask. You're listening to the Big Breakfast Show. Hi. We put the good <laughs> in good morning. Good morning. Mr. Worldwide to infinity, <laughs> you know the roof on fire. We go boogie, hoogie, hoogie, jiggle, wiggle, and dance, <laughs> like the roof on fire. We go drink drinks and take s until we fall out, like the roof on fire, like the roof on fire. Tell them, tell them, baby, 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 I'm on fire. I tell them, baby, 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 I'm a fire at all. This way. I was born in a plane. I'm gonna say that every word but on my name. I'm the best you've ever had. If you think I'm burning out, I never am. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. 
fire at all. Here don't play. Uh-huh. That boy's from the bottom, bottom on the map. M I A U S A. I gave Sushi a little pat up on the middle. Then she turned around and said, Walk this way. I was born in a frame. M-I-A. Mama said that every word was on my name. I'm right. the best right. you've ever had. That's right. If you think I'm burning out, I never am. I'm on fire. That's Pitbull Fireball. It is 25 minutes now to the hour. Good morning. We need to do the TikTok. What? Have you seen the TikTok? No, we don't do any TikToks. No, we need to. My TikToks are very different. Uh, having a look at the traffic this morning, there is a multi-vehicle crash on the N3 eastbound. That's after the ramp from New England Road. All lanes are open. It's been a while since I drove to Maritzburg. Uh, on the N3 eastbound stationary vehicle, that's after the ramp from Allen Patton Avenue. One left lane is blocked there. Uh, on the N3 Cliffdale, there is a stationary vehicle somewhere there. Uh, on the N2 Northbound, there is a stationary vehicle before the ramp to the EB Clutter Interchange or Spaghetti Junction. Uh, out in Gauteng, I've got congestion that's there by Oliphant's Fontaine on the N1 Southbound. I've got a single vehicle crash on the N1 Southbound, that's before the ramp to Malibongwe. Uh, I've got queuing traffic on the N12 Westbound, that's there by Galuli's Interchange. Stationary vehicle on the N12 Eastbound, that's there by Galuli's. That's adding to the misery this morning. Uh, there's a multi-vehicle crash on the N12 Deep Kloof before the N12 uh, ramp. Left shoulder is blocked there. And then I've got a, a truck that lost its load on the N12 Westbound. That's after the ramp to Reading Interchange. Uh, I can't see anything else of note here this morning. There's still that multi-vehicle crash uh, there by Tom Jones on the R23. Uh, let's have a look, see at the WhatsApps here. Hi, this is Swami Reddy, and you're listening to Southside FM. Keep it locked on. Yes, wishing Donovan Chetty a very happy birthday for today. Best wishes from Priya, Maliga, Selvan, Kogesan, Prashantan, and Swami Reddy. Oh, la la, Scooby Dooby Doo, thank you. Uh, Ashley is having his uh, event at the Amshlatu Zana Civic mm-hmm. Center. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Schleicher Zana Civic Center. All right, we're going to play that ad again just now. Now, my question this morning mm-hmm. is, is, is really not make sure. Yeah. But uh, it, it, it's, a, it's something that I've noticed over the years. Mm-hmm. Do you think gossiping strengthens a relationship? Yes. Why? Bring them closer. The hatred of someone else, the mutual hatred because of someone Because you know when else. you find someone yeah. that doesn't like the same person as you. Yeah. And then you can sit for hours on, on a conversation, <laughs> talk about the same person <laughs> who did things to both of you. <laughs> it's like the vibe. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, it's not only me. Do you think gossiping is the foundation for a good relationship? Uh, not necessarily. Not for a good relationship. I think you can make friends in different ways. Not just... I think so. You think so? I think so. The moment someone comes up that you both don't like and you realize, hey, 
We both don't like the same person. Right, game on now. We are besties. <laughs> besties. We are besties. I've seen this happen. I've seen it happen, yeah. But I've never become friends with someone just because of that. Do you think it's good for the community? Gossiping. Just to like relieve that stress. Healthy. Dealing. Yeah, do you think it's healthy for people? Because it just relieves that stress. That built up animosity that you have towards someone. You know when you really don't like someone, even the sound of them breathing mm. is enough to irritate you. True. Even or the their so- presence. Or the, Just even if they're around. Even, even hearing their name. <laughs> but it's good to have this avenue. Mm-hmm. To just go and release some steam. You know, and just get things off your chest also. So that's my, that's my question to you. Is gossiping healthy? I mean, I, I I would think so. But it's not it's not necessarily a good thing. Because gossiping can also mean you saying good things about somebody as well. Like they could have like flaws, but they could you could agree on something that oh okay, you know, they still a good person it's just that they do stupid things you know yeah kind of thing so gossiping could go either way it could be saying good things or it could be saying both or like for example if there's nothing to t- or no one to talk about can that conversation flow didn't we speak about something else or somebody else no like I'm saying if there's nothing or no one to talk about mm. can the conversation flow I'm sure it can. No, There's other things you can speak about. It can't. Like pl- like making plans or like you know. Yeah, and then still that person will come up in the conversation. Don't tell this person well, what they'll do if okay, they only yeah. know we're going. Yeah. Don't post anything yeah. so that they don't see. Okay. So that's where I'm sitting now. That's what I'm asking: Is gossip good? Is gossip healthy for a relationship? I think it, it, with the question you asked, is gossiping, um, you know, does it does it bring, does it strengthen a relationship? Yeah. I think yes, but it's not a good thing, you know, to talk about other people. Yeah, but some people deserve it. True. Yeah, but some people deserve it. No, uh, let's, let, you know what? We are moving to Australia, Karen. We, I can't do it anymore. We can't do it anymore. Nope. We cannot deal with this level of insanity. We are going, we're packing up and going to Australia. Yeah. Deshan Pillay says there's a fine line between gossiping and venting. <laughs> That's true. Which category do I fall under? Both. <laughs> I think both. There's not there's no specific one. <laughs> we can put you in. Like we we cannot categorize you. It's just you there in the middle. <laughs> I'm both. But even me sometimes. I won't lie. I can't tell. Um... You know when we started when you came on this morning and mm. you said it's so important to send voice notes for certain things. Mm. There are people that are sending me the same message. They want me to read it. I'm like, no, <laughs> send me a voice note. I've refused to read this. Why? Because it's a birthday message for someone else. If you want, But it's like you're saying it on your behalf. Yeah, I'm not your spokesperson. <laughs> send a voice note and I'll play it for you. Easy. It's so simple. Easy. Guys. But you're on the radio. You imagine. Put, imagine being imagine on the from radio. From your home. You on, can be put on the radio. That's what I'm saying. Imagine. So is there a fine line or is gossiping bad? Is gossiping good? I mean, some people, they deserve it. It's warranted. Some people gossip every day. It's absolutely necessary like though. Maybe twice or thrice a day. Like I know if I don't have to, go- if I can't gossip, I won't be able to function. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to function. I'll be sitting here and overflowing. <laughs> <laughs> I know anxiety. I know my cousin and I. Yeah. Every day we speak on the phone. Yeah. But somewhere, somehow, one irritating person will come up in that conversation <laughs> that we don't like. And you just can't avoid the subject because you both don't like this person. Yeah. And then we go on and talk about that person. So that's what we're asking you this morning. 0743454747 is gossiping a method of strengthening a relationship. Mm-hmm. You must, you mustn't feel shy to tell us. You're go- you'll sit and gossip on the phone, and it, I'll give you an action replay, Tashni. Mm-hmm. You heard what she did now. <laughs> they, they don't even say hello. You don't even have to ask who. You know yeah, who. You know, you know and know they who. know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> you heard what she did now. Oh. This is what she did now. Hi, Miss Shanton. What about those people that you gossip with? And then that person that you're gossiping about someone goes to that someone and then gossips about you with that someone. 
Ooh. There's an old phrase that I can reference right now. Mm. Don't tell me what they said about me. Tell me why they were so comfortable to say it to you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shots fired. Don't tell me what they said about me. Tell me why they were so comfortable. What did you say for them, for to, them say to say that? You know, that's so correct. <laughs> now that I think about it, you know, that's so that's so right. Don't tell um, me what was said about me. Tell them. Tell me why they were so comfortable to say it to you. Yeah, and why out of all people they tell it to you? You know. Good morning, awesome, awesome breakfast team. The MTNs, how you doing? Well, gossiping, even if you are listening to a gossip, you automatically become a gossiper. And how's this one? Oh, you are told you now, but don't tell I said. <laughs> why did you come and tell me that? If you don't want me, if you think that I'm going to tell, why did you come and tell me that? So what you can't told me, it'll stay with me. So why? Don't tell I said anything. Don't mention anything. Yeah? But you came and told me. So you trusted me to tell me, but then you're telling me I mustn't go tell. And another thing is, I believe if you gossip about me, well, that which means I'm adorable, loving, caring somebody that you love to gossip about, eh? And better still, I am meant for any burns that gossip about me. Hey, hey. Dr. P says, be careful who you gossip, who you vent to. A listening ear is a running mouth. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? Some people are like, you know, like, I don't know. I don't even know how to, what is the word? Langada. Mm. They go up from here, they listen to your story. They'll take your story and go tell it to the person you spoke, you told the story about. They'll tell them, they'll get that information. Then they'll go to another person and say, this is what that one said and that's what but that one said. But by the time it, it reaches the last person, it's the story is completely... Blown it's, out it's, of com- it's a completely wrong story even. The broken telephone effect. Yeah, it's, it's the complete opposite. Ah, finally. I hope you and your mark are having a and fabulous Friday. Firstly, the hubby and I want to wish my niece here, Shmika, and my nephew, Sia, yes. and all the very yes. best for their MIP Sports Day today. You yes. guys are going to rock your races, and we wish you all everything of the best. Regarding gossiping, well, the rule should be that if you cannot tell someone to their face, then you should not be talking about them behind their backs. That's it. Have an absolutely lovely Friday, everyone. Banakam. Oh, oh no, no, we'll no, 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 no. You see, <laughs> I, what if you find yourself in a position where you want to tell the person this, but they don't make themselves available? <laughs> they never make themselves available. Bazaki Chin Swami says the person who uh, gossips is a coward because they don't have the guts to face uh, up to the person concerned. No. No, sometimes they can. They, they, we they want, will. Sometimes the person wants to. Yeah, they want to. They just need to restrict themselves from being so confrontational but also if someone comes up to you mm. and instead of gossiping about you they come up and tell you hey this is this is what i don't like about you how how are you going to handle that tashria if someone comes up to me and mm. told me that yeah how would you handle that oh no I'll, 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 I'll give it to you i'll say excuse me yeah with some other words Yippee! It's weekend. Okay. okay. <laughs> that, thanks. That's the word from our sponsors. <laughs> uh, there's a difference between uh, sharing a secret and gossiping. No, we don't share secrets anymore. It's out in the open. <laughs> Everybody Everyone knows. Everyone to know. <laughs> Everybody knows what's happening. So There's nothing that's been put really, under the carpet. You can't really share a secret anymore. Before uh-huh. you can go tell somebody anything, they already know. Yeah, that's true. But we're saying now, Tashria, mm. someone comes up to you, right? Yeah. And you must know most of the time, gossiping can be reduced just by giving someone constructive criticism. Yeah, that's true. Right? Mm. And people don't like criticism. Yeah, especially if you're telling it. And to them. the Indian people will say, "Make sure your backyard is swept clean before you come tell me how to clean my yard." <laughs> you know, <laughs> right? Right. Make sure your backyard is swept clean mm. before you come tell me how to clean my yard. But they don't realize that this person is coming and telling you something not because they they're picking on you or they're finding a fault or whatever. 
they're telling you something that could help you but your your ego sometimes can be so great that you refuse to listen refuse to listen now what happens in a situation like that tashria if i was if personally if i was put into a situation i don't like trauma so i would just say okay or whatever whatever makes you sleep at night kind of thing um because i'm not i'm not one for those that that likes to fight and go and go on and go on yeah i'm just like you know you do you have you ever been put in a situation where you've given someone constructive criticism and they've made a fight with you after that no I like think. like that my mother's roast is still uh, it's still it's still a problem in my it's a very sensitive topic now in my house that's going to, to cook for you about. if you speak about it today and it's friday so just no whether she cooks for me or not we're doing my grandfather's seven month prayer on sunday so there will be food <laughs> There will be You food. think so far ahead. It's not even funny. I got to deal with it. There you. will be food. All our aunties are coming. They will bring food and I'll go there by my granny's house and eat. No problem. No, no problem. Okay. And she must be thinking you're so ungrateful. <laughs> no, but it's constructive criticism that we're giving you. Now, have you found yourself in a position where you've given someone constructive criticism? or told them hey shape up pull your socks up i can't tell anybody that what other people tell me that pull your socks up <laughs> yeah catch a wake up catch a wake up mm-hmm. uh rogini says i agree with tashria i don't like drama but okay so if you are a person that doesn't like drama mm. and if you can see something happening you'll keep quiet or you go tell the person unless hey. i'm involved yeah no even if you like up, like walking past and like, like i'm a bystander yeah. no i won't you won't uh-uh. why i don't know that doesn't have anything to do with me yeah but if you can see the person is doing something ridiculous won't you stop there and be like hey hold on no 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 that's not me i will even if i see a fight or anything if it's not directly involving me i will i will i'll, I'll leave you to do it because the minute you get involved especially in this younger generation yeah the story goes that you were fighting and it's your your problem so i rather no, i'm talking about mature people with a brain no 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 there's none of them <laughs> so what mature there's people there's none of them with a brain if you can see something happening uh. something that's not supposed to be ha- happening that's happening would you not go and stop it if they maybe if they're very close to me and i can see that no, st- sometimes even random yeah no you won't stop it no. then you are part and parcel and, and the reason why society is is deteriorating why you if you see something that's bad happening you won't go stop it what am i going to do like uh, how how much of capabilities do i have to stop uh and not like they would listen to me or would you be the person that would pull out your phone and start oh, no. recording no no absolutely not 0743453447 have you ever given someone constructive criticism and they ended up making of you 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 became the bad person after that mm. or given advice even advice even yeah even yeah. advice because people come to you with like re- relationship problems right mm-hmm. and you tell them you know what cut your losses <laughs> Cut your losses and get rid of the problem. And then they get and upset. Then, and then what happens is they go and make up with the person, and then they say, you know what he said, I should break up with you. And then that person says, well, you can't be friends with that person anymore. And then issues upon issues. Exactly. So. Ronnie says, yes, lots of times, uh, to- people told me certain things about me. My reply was, who cares what anyone thinks about me? Because when I stand in front of the mirror, I love what I see. Oh. <laughs> You woke up and chilled violence. <laughs> You're listening to the Big Breakfast Show. Hi. We put the good in good morning. Good Yeah. 
Lo caliente del sol que se te metió y no te deja aquí a nena. ¿Quién puede parar eso que el bailar te controla tu camina? Y ese fuego que quema por dentro y lento te convierte en tierra. Con la mano arriba, cintura sola, da media vuelta y sacude duro. No te quite ahora, que tú solo empieza. Mueve la cabeza y sacude duro. No me lo sabes, me lo cura. No me lo a mi un lado. Listening to the Big Breakfast Show. Hi. We put the good in good morning.
way to kickstart your day. Wake up the right way. We're putting the good in good morning. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. The Big Breakfast Show. <laughs> With Mishanth and Nayan. Na ready da varama. Vanna na yarangi varama. On Southside FM. Singer the singer the pa. One o seven point two. Brought to you by Macrocom Smart Made Simple. Vanagam Namaskaram, 8 o'clock. Good morning. In your news this hour, the South African Post Office says it will retrench fewer workers than it originally planned to. SAPO announced last year that it would retrench 6,000 workers as part of its business rescue plan. The entity says the number has now been reduced to 4,700 workers. The workers have been served with their retrenchment letters. The government says it supports the reduction of retrenched workers. Moving on, the Hawks have welcomed the sentencing of two former Western Cape police officers on corruption charges. 54-year-old Jonathan Yankees and 41-year-old Morn Frazier were arrested for selling a docket in 2014. They were caught with entrapment money after they agreed to sell the docket for 40,000 rand. Hawk spokesperson Warrant Officer Zinzi Hani says the duo will serve an effective nine-year imprisonment each. Effectively, both accused will serve a period of nine years direct imprisonment each. The court ordered that all sentences be served concurrently. Additionally, both accused were declared unfit to possess a firearm. The sentence is a clear-cut message that corruption does not pay and that as police management will never tolerate any act of corruption within our ranks, said the provincial head of the Western Cape Hawks, Major General Matipa Machado. We commend the judiciary and thorough investigation conducted by the dedicated team to remove those who are criminals hiding behind our dignified badge. In other news, the economic freedom fighters have again encouraged its supporters to occupy privately owned land. The party secretary general, Marshal Dlamini, told party supporters to occupy land in KwaZulu-Natal. This is despite a Supreme Court of Appeal ruling that warned the EFF not to advocate for the invasion and illegal occupation of land. Lamini made the call while addressing EFF supporters in Ulundi. The party was protesting against political killings in the province. And in your international news, U.S. President Joe Biden has told Israel that its policy towards Gaza will depend on the actions of the Israeli government. This is a shift from America as it has supported Israel's right to defend itself in the conflict with Hamas. America has faced criticism from other governments for supporting Israel. Biden has told Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that Israel must take action to reduce civilian harm and suffering during the conflict. A short while ago, gold was selling at $2,274.11 a fine ounce. A barrel of Brent crude cost $90.96. One U.S. dollar is trading at 18 rand 77. One British pound is 23 rand 69. One euro is 20 rand 32. And the Durham is 5 rand 11 cents. It's currently 4 rupees 45 in Indian rupees to the rand and 2 rupees 47 in Mauritian rupees to the rand. The price for one Bitcoin is currently trading at $65,760.50. Your top story this hour the South African Post Office says it will retrench fewer workers than it originally planned to. This bulletin brought to you by Macrocom Smart Made Simple. For the Southside FM News team, I'm Leah Gnesson. You're listening to The Big Breakfast Show. Hi! We put the good in good morning. Good morning.
Six minutes off, eight o'clock. Good morning, dear. Now, how many of the people you know have office jobs, Tashria? Not a lot. What they do? Factory work. <laughs> okay, you know my uncle, yeah. So apparently, there's a phenomenon that's sweeping the world by storm. Mm-hmm. And when people have office jobs, they're usually sitting for like eight to nine hours a day. Right. Right. And if you work in an office, chances are you sit at a desk chair for roughly eight hours a day, every day. Mm-hmm. But a fitness guru now warns that this lifestyle could bring you an odd phenomenon. No matter how hard you work out in the gym, chances are you will be a victim of office buttocks. Okay. <laughs> This bizarrely named phenomenon causes your buttocks to lose its perkiness. Okay, right. And according to a weight loss and nutrition coach, Annabelle Smith, she told a social media there has been a lot of talk in the media recently about undesirable body phenomenon, rather uh, unkindly called office buttocks or secretary spread. <laughs> <laughs> and with current body trends all focusing on having a very shapely posterior, mm-hmm. thanks to the Kardashians, it's concerning to many that this could become a thing. So Office Buttocks describes having a flatter rear end, which many people believe happens because of not moving. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think they call it pear shape. <laughs> Okay. I'll, I stand to be corrected. Oh. Uh, this is not caused by the area flattening after sitting too long. It's more a case of the area having poor muscle tone caused by having a uh, a, a, a sitting lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Right? So despite its uh, light-hearted name, it's believed that this can lead to more dangerous conditions. Uh, in the worst cases, dead buttock syndrome. I don't know what that is. Yeah, Meaning, neither do I. the gluteal uh, amnesia is just one possible consequence, according to um, social media, causing glute muscles to forget their purpose altogether. <gasps> that's that's. Do your cute. squats, people. Do your squats. Do your squats. Yeah, and like, lunges. Like we said, I try to walk, but. We can't because this camera is watching me 24 <laughs> 7. So, like, we try. Yeah, we, we, we take a stroll sometimes. We try yeah, to yeah. take a stroll. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I just sit and walk that way. <laughs> he waddles. He waddles. Yeah, I waddle that way. But yeah. it's not healthy, so you must take walks. It's important. Very importantly, tell your boss that you don't want to. You, do, you are preventing an IOD. Mm. <laughs> you are preventing an IOD and you need to walk. Yeah, and this could be permanent. There's no way you can recover. Just take a five minute stroll every hour or so. Yeah, yeah. You can't sit for like six to seven hours a day. Every because day. you'll get office buttons. You'll get this problem here. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you do, let's, let's avoid it. Yeah, when I done the button, 
Minutes after eight o'clock. Good morning to you, Tashia. There's a bit of a debate online. Off. Where's the best place to sit on an aeroplane? The the wing. No, is it an is it a window seat or an? Yeah, aisle? the wing window seat. Why? Because you have the best view. I'm talking about comfort wise. Yeah. Where's there. the Where's the best place? You get more leg room actually. To sit on an aeroplane. No, but you pay more for those seats. Uh, we sit there all the time. Yeah, you pay more for mm. those seats. So, where is the best place to sit on an aeroplane? Let's, let's try to, to establish uh, a window or an aisle. No. Or the center of the window. A window aisle. for sure. Why? Because you get to look outside and have your own space. So, like, and if someone When you are traveling high, Tashlia, what do you see? The clouds. There's nothing to see. There's clouds. Do you not and know what clouds are? Like? It's so cool because when you look at the at the flap, like off the wing, yeah. you see how it how it how it lifts up and it's so cool. It's so fascinating. For children. So <laughs> And for pictures also. You know when you take that photo outside. Okay. So we are asking this morning. For me, I prefer the aisle. The aisle. The aisle. But then when those the air hostess or the people are walking past, like no, because that, that that's not all the time that they're walking past. But when they're not walking past, you can stretch your legs out into the aisle. 
Why though? Like you have what I play do. No, you don't. You literally don't. If you're flying domestic, you if you fly flying internationally, even worse. That's why you must fly first class then. Do we have them? So excuse us. Not everyone. I'm just no, we don't sell custard full things. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Not every one of us has the luxury to sell custard full donuts <laughs> and go and buy where business this, class. Where did this come from? I'm talking for the know? masses. No, stop it. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I meant. I'm just saying. I just <laughs> the life of the privileged. I tell you. No, I'm just saying. We're moving to Australia. We can't take it anymore. We cannot take it anymore. We are going. Is We're going to like, Australia. I'm just saying, if you want a better experience, oh, there you go. Imagine. Just, just, just do this. Imagine. I'm just saying. I cannot for the life. If you want a comforting flight. We've only got enough money for the flight, the accommodation, and a little bit spending money. Now you want us to go and use that whole thing. And then what are we going to do for accommodation? Now we're going to live. Where are we going to live? We don't have fr- we don't have friends and family in India to go live with them. <laughs> we don't, I don't have friends and family in India. You stay in a hotel. Imagine to tell us to buy... I'm just to saying! Tell us, imagine to tell us such a hurt, such a big word. What? Such <laughs> a big say? word. I'm just saying if you want comfort, then go fly first class. If you if they ever give you this business to run, you mustn't call it delights because there's nothing delightful about <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> That was like a thorn. That was like a dagger to the heart. Why? Just just... buy first class ticket then. I only flew once first class. Yeah, then? To to Mauritius. Then? It what? was nice. And what exactly? <laughs> then? It was, we flew out on Christmas morning. And they gave us turkey and cranberry sauce and, and uh, tater tots. <laughs> <laughs> then why are you complaining? It was one. T- I when we flew to Singapore, I said I sat nine hours with, like like in a box. <laughs> I sat in a box. Shame. So we're asking you for normal people with normal people's budget. I'm saying. If you don't have um, a Cinnabon franchise or whatever. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't understand. What? Why? The life of the privileged, I tell you. Hey, bold and the beautiful. Now, if you. <laughs> I can't take bold and beautiful seriously after the video we watched the other day. <laughs> Where's the best place to sit on an aeroplane? The aisle or the window? The window. I like to sit by the window. Zero. For. L- I would like to sit at the window. Not for lanky people. Not that don't mean it like that. I'm just saying. Where do not normal people? Where do we p- prefer to sit? I prefer the aisle. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Where do you prefer to sit on an aeroplane? Zero seven four three four five triple four seven. Do you like to watch the clouds and gape at nothing? <laughs> because you can use it as a as a background. I'll tell you where I like the window seat. Mm-hmm. Is when you are arriving in another country at night. Yeah, and the lights are on. The lights. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that I like nice. that. Especially when you're landing in Dubai. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Especially when you're landing in Dubai. It's very nice to look at. But you can do the same thing. You can sit on your aisle seat and look over. With like two people's heads in front. In yeah, next to you, you. Just, you just look over. No. Zero seven four three four five triple four seven window or aisle. That's what we are. Or asking. the middle. Or the, or the, the. I don't think that anyone wants to sit in the middle. But then sometimes you have no choice. So. The big breakfast show. The big breakfast show. <laughs>
Sean Potts is saying he likes the Isles. And he's saying your head is definitely in the clouds. Thank you. <laughs> I treat you so well. It. I treat <laughs> you so well. It, it makes me so proud. It makes me so proud Thanks, to hear you respond to things like that. <laughs> Thanks, man. So Before sweet. she used to get upset. Yeah. Now she just can't be I used bothered. To, I used to be, get very upset. I used to go home and tell my mother, you know what this person said. And now and what, I'm like, and what used to be your mother's response just out of curiosity? She used to be like, don't, don't, don't bother. And I'd be like, do you know what it's like? <laughs> and now I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I just could not be bothered. But thank you. Uh, Dolly Governor says, I prefer the aisle seat because when you want to use the loo, it's uh, easy. Just g- go. Great show, Mishanta and Tashria. Thank you. That's Dolly. Sundri says she likes the window. Uh, Roxanne says short trips, window, long trip, aisle for leg space. Yeah, the aisle. Yeah, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't know that no. because you've my business. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Stop it. Excuse us. No, but excuse even us. there's some messages here on Facebook. That's uh, Junie Governor says aisle for comfort. Yeah. And Gopinath Krishna Murthy also says aisle to get up and walk up and down. Yes. But why must you walk up and down on a plane? Like that's so uncomfortable. Do you know how, okay, when you get old, Tashia, mm. your feet t- start to swell. When you sit. Yeah, when you sit for prolonged periods of time. Oh. So to avoid that, just wake up and walk. Like, I would wake up and walk to the back and see the stewardess and like, another bottle, please. <laughs> I mean... Oh. Another one. What, what do we do with that? Vasugi says, I like uh, the window by the wing of the plane. Mm-hmm. Selvi says, window... Uh, so we like in the middle now, yeah. window, and aisle. window and aisle. But it also depends. I won't lie. So depends on how long that the flight is. Mm. Like if it's an hour from here to Johannesburg or from here to Cape Town, the two-hour flight, I uh, will take a window. Yeah. If it's from here to Dubai, or from here to even from here to Mauritius, I don't mind a window. A window seat, yeah. Yeah, because it's only four hours, three and a half. If the driver is really motoring, <laughs> if the driver he's put really, his foot down, he's really going fast. If the driver put foot down, then yeah. Then you must know, yeah. So three and a half hours. Mm. Then I don't mind. But like going from going from here to Singapore, and here to Dubai, and here to India. Hi, I, 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 I'll, 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 I'll. You pray to God. You pray. But you can book in advance, can can't you? No. So you, then you pray to God that there is an uh, instance where you'll have a row where no one is sitting. Oh. And then you go sleep there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Do. You just sleep there. You just go there, put your put your legs up on the seats and sit. Oh, you have your own first class. <laughs> yeah, you, you make you make your own first class. Wow! And no one stops you. Oh, really? They don't say. No one stops you. Oh, that's but that's nice. So you hope and pray that you know what there is a seat yet, and must be within your vicinity mm. because you can't go from the front of the plane to, plane to the back of the plane or vice versa to go find an empty seat. True. That is true. Because those people be like, ah, ah, this is mine. <laughs> yeah. They fight for it. They do. Malika says, uh, Vanakam, uh, she loves the window. I'm telling the people, I'm not reading no more birthday messages. You're still sending it. I'm not reading. Send voice Hey, man, read it. It says, yeah, Vanakam and good morning, breakfast team. Have a lovely and bl- wishing our dear son, Donovan. Now he's Donovan, my dear son. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying. Send voice notes for these things. All right, first and last time. Uh, s- wishing our dear son, Donovan Chetty, a happy and blessed birthday. Love from parents, Salvi and Maliga Chetty of Newlands West. Imagine if, you're sent, imagine if you'll send a voice note. How much more meaningful it would have been? <laughs> yeah, because now Donovan is your son. <laughs> our son. Our it's our son. son. Yeah. It's our son. Yeah. Hi, good morning. My name is Devin Pale. I'm a paraplegic <laughs> and I flew overseas 11 times alone. Uh, just to let people know, the first row in economy because of the baby cot as wider leg room. And I prefer to sit against a window. Uh, normally, I have to fight with the airline to sit against a window uh, in economy. Uh, because according to safety regulations, a disabled person has to sit in the aisle. I don't like the aisle or middle because I'm not jumping out to walk around. Uh, and uh, people jumping over my legs, irritating me when I'm just about to rest is very irritating. And uh, they do have an aisle shade to take disabled people to the toilet. 
uh, but I monitor my liquids and I don't wake up, uh, get up to go to the loo uh, during my long flight. Uh, in January, I went to Philippines, Malaysia, and India, uh, three different airlines. And I flew a Philippines airlines, and they left my wheelchair behind in Philippines when I arrived in Malaysia at 9 o'clock in the morning. That is highly ridiculous. And just to inform disabled people, if you're flying with the electric wheelchair, uh, and if you are removing the battery, they only allow a 300 watt hour battery to be car carried inside the cabin. Qatar Airways, if you leave the battery on the chair, there's no limit to the watt hours. Because I had my battery thrown in the bin by Emirates in uh, Malaysia, uh, because uh, they said the battery is uh, not, not at the right wattage. Malika says she doesn't have the voice for radio. No. Don't say that. No, must never no, ever. No, no. Everybody has a voice for radio. Everyone. Everyone. Does. Everyone does. Have you heard what what we have? Have you heard? Stop it. I don't have the radio voice. No, none of us have a radio voice. It just depends whether or not people like how you sound. You know? But then again, I can. Oh, God. I can. It's 28 minutes now. No, he does it time. like... <clears throat> like you know, it's 28 minutes after eight o'clock now. It is the big breakfast show on Southside FM 107.2. Good morning. You're listening to the big breakfast show. Hi. We put the good in good morning. Good morning. <laughs>
Tashria. Oh no. Oh Tashria, wait oh, for it. You no. you are not ready for this. I'm not? No, you are not ready. Okay. I married myself in a four thousand pound wedding ceremony. Trolls called me a narcissist, but I am just confident. Body positivity influencer Danny says she's not going to apologize for loving herself or showing off her wedding where she spoke vows to her reflection in a mirror. Wow. Meet a woman who is so confident, who is so confident but unapologetically unap- happy uh, with who she is that she spent thousands of pounds in a wedding to marry herself. Body image coach and body positivity influencer Danny, who lives in Los Angeles, USA, uh, had a traditional wedding ceremony in many ways, inviting her family and friends, held a bouquet and read vows, but when she got to the end of the aisle, she looked into a large mirror, ready to make a marriage commitment to her reflection. Okay. Firstly, we, we promote me, myself, and I. Yeah, Dude, love yourself. Yeah, self-love. We we self-love is important. But if you want to marry yourself... You know what? If I was an attention seeker, I would also marry myself. But this is like on another level. Do it at home or something. I would have booked the ICC and married oh, myself. Oh, wow. You, <laughs> that's, a bit, <laughs> that's a bit crazy. No. But I mean, like, what goes on in people's minds, man? So just say, you know what? I'm going to marry myself. Did you know, for fact's sake, mm-hmm. dogs will sometimes fake being sick to get attention. Really? Mm. Salty or, smi- or spicy snacks can be used as antidepressants. The pleasure centers in your brain make you crave them more. Mm. Never be afraid to try something new because life gets boring when you stay within the limits of what you already knew. That's true. Um... In a social situation and don't know anyone, keep in mind that it's better to be interested in other people than to try and be interesting yourself. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Wow. Forgiveness is the number one trait linked to happiness in humans. Mm-hmm. The mango is the most popular fruit in the world. It also helps fight against cancer, clear skin and lowers cholesterol. Mm. A Canadian university had, has, a built, has built a puppy room in its campus where students can go and play with puppies oh, yeah. to relieve stress and tension. That's so sweet of them. They actually care about their students' feelings. Your, your university doesn't? No. <laughs> they leave you to do whatever? Leave us to carry on. Kissing can increase your lifespan. Also spreads germs. Yeah, you must kiss. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're kissing. Were you, were, you in a, were you in school when it was, when kids used to say, I know it was a big thing with us and the generation before us, I must tell ma'am, I must tell ma'am, I must tell ma'am. We used to sing a song. Oh, no. When you used to find people doing stupid things. I must tell ma'am. No, I must tell you ma'am. would be like... Oh, oh, I'm going to tell ma'am. I must tell ma'am. I must t- I must tell ma'am. No, we, a, we didn't have a song. Yeah. But if we see someone doing something stupid or irritating us, you, you put your hand and be like, ma'am. No, nah, that was so boring. That's what we used to That's do. so boring. That's what we used to I'm do. A, and then if the teacher catches you raising your hand, they'll be like, yes. And we'll be like, no, sorry, it's okay. Never mind. Good relationships don't just happen. They take time, patience, and two people getting through uh, all the hard times together. The struggle together. A python from Australia. Okay, we read this one. See what happens in Australia, Karen. What happened in Australia? A python from Australia became addicted to crystal meth. Yeah. yeah that was after living in a drug lab and was sent to rehabilitation for seven months. Like, we can't understand why a python would be in a drug lab. <laughs> like, for what purpose? Blue whales are so big that a human can swim through the largest veins and arteries. Whoa. Imagine. What? enough people on the internet are more real than people in real life the ability to act anonymously makes us much more genuine mm. if you still feel, t- feel tired after a good night's sleep you're probably dehydrated drink some water ah i'm gonna go drink a few bottles of water <laughs> mm. a couple bottles of water people who are likely who are more likely to focus and pay attention when soft music is playing in the background 
No, you get it? Absolutely not. People are more likely to focus and pay attention when soft music is playing in the background. Hello. That's why I've got bed here. Yeah. I had to fight tooth and nail to get bed. Manic refused. Why? But he, he wanted us to play a new one. Yeah, now he realized. Now he knows the yeah. power. I thought I thought the radio guru radio. <laughs> ah, come early, come early. The average woman absorbs about five pounds of damaging chemicals a year thanks to beauty products. That's a lot. That is a lot. And female lions do eighty-five to ninety percent of the hunting, and male lions do eighty-five to ninety percent of the eating. <laughs> oh God. Wow. There's a big breakfast show. Good morning to you. No, ami, ami, andante ni pella nai poi na tumi ra swami, na swami. No, swami, swami, andante na pini miti le ka sakan gundi ra swami, na swami. Ni yonke, yonke, yonke andante. Ni yonke, yonke, yonke andante. My favorite is this one, Sami Sami. Sami Sami. Sami Sami from the movie Pushba. It's, it's about that time now where we've got to wrap up, Tashlia. It's yes. been it's been a relatively decent week. It has been. But I mean, it's been a long week. It has been. And it's been a short week at the same time. Yeah. But finally, next week we're back to normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't like April in general. I don't like. But why? Because of all the public holidays. Mm. Yeah, yeah, for us now, I used to I used to enjoy public holidays, but now it affects us. And then the first of May is a public holiday, mm-hmm. which is a wetness day. Oh God! In the middle of the week. And then the 29th of May is another public holiday because we have to go vote. Mm-hmm. And then you've got which is also wetness day. And then you've got the 16th of June, which is a Sunday. 
So the Monday is going to be a holiday. And then we don't have a holiday in July, and I'm very upset about that. <laughs> and then in August, the Friday, 9th of August, is a holiday. Fish. Lots of public holidays happening, guys. Except in the month that matters, July. Only because it's your birthday, that's why. Mm, what date? 12th. Hey! <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> we'll start the countdown just on one but now for July. Let's start the countdown. Now for now. July? Yeah. Uh, what's your weekend uh, looking like? I'm doing triple T tomorrow. Uh, That's exciting. Uh-uh. 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 You? Uh-uh. Stop it. I, I want you to uphold. No. <laughs> uh-uh. Say the because name. Because we are all for correct English. <laughs> so, we say triple T. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Correct English, correct grammar. That's all. That's all I ask of people. <laughs> She's a simpleton, this one. She doesn't require much. She just wants... <laughs> I just want people to say triple or the team. That's the one. You know? You know? Is that too much to ask for? And you said it without a list. So this is something you feel passionate about. <laughs> No, sometimes this happens. <laughs> but this I feel passionate about because good radio, good English. Good uh, we've we've got we've got someone that just gapping in here yeah? mm. on Youth Unplugged tomorrow. Uh, Southland Secondary School interview and Andhra Mahasabha interview for the uh, youth. Oh, lovely! Because of Telugu New Year coming up. Yeah. So if I have a look at the calendar here very quickly, we've got. Telugu New Year on the 12th? 9th. 9th. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's next week, Tuesday. Yep. All right, Telugu New Year on the 9th. And then we've got uh, Tamil New Year on the 14th. Oh, so like just a week apart. Yeah, it's just a few days, actually. Mm. I'm looking forward to the next weekend. Why? Because me, Neil, and Mayeshni are going. So, you're leaving on Friday, am I yeah, correct? Yeah, after the show, straight. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought you need down. to tell me in advance. Straight down. We go We go fetch Mayeshni and go to Amkumas to So fetch. Monday when you see him and he looks like a dragon, you must know why. No, but it'll be like, it will be rejuvenated. Mm. It'll be rejuvenated. Mm, I'm sure. But they, you see, it's my friend's place. So he says, check out whatever time you feel like. Oh, then it's okay. Then you don't have to be up at like 9am or yeah. whatever the case is. So... What, yeah, Revati is interviewing Southland Secondary School and the Andhra Mahasabha Youth Peoples, I think Mission and Company. Mission and Company, yeah. Uh, for Telugu New Year. So please mention, I mentioned. And then what are you doing for Telugu New Year? We are doing some big things. What should you bring on your show for Telugu New we Year? Have to, you have to stay tuned for that. Because this is the last broadcast before Telugu New Year? It is, yeah. So what are you got planned for Telugu New We've Year? We've got some things planned. But if you want to know, yeah. you have to stay tuned. That is a radio person's way to say we've got nothing planned. I have to go figure it out now. Really? <laughs> is that what it means? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. No, we do have some stuff planned. Yeah, thank you guys. So Youth Unplugged will be interviewing the kids from Southlet Secondary School. Um, they will be my Youths of the Week. And then Michelle Naidu will come over to talk about Ugidi and the request for all youth to come join the Andhra Mahasabha and uh, create a stronger youth platform. So that's what will be happening between 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. tomorrow on Youth Unplugged. Revati was like in the first class at Southland. Southland. Revati was in Southland? Yeah, she was part of the first batch. <laughs> Why must you expose people like that That's so badly? No, but it's nice. I would love to interview my previous schools as well. I, oh, wow. I don't know about but that. But most of my teachers and all, they have retired. I don't know about that. They have retired and whatnot. So you're not going to get them. But, but you still like, no. The no. Yeah, I do. All right, anyway, have yourselves a fantastic uh, weekend. And we will pick up on Monday. Until then, I'm Ishantan Naidu. That's right, Naidu. Good morning. The only way to kickstart your day. <coughs> Wake up the right way. We're putting the good in good morning. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. The Big Breakfast Show. <coughs> With Ishantan Naidu. Na- on 
Southside FM. 107.2.
कन्न पाता अयो यम्मा करनाग पाम्बा खुद्रम्मा अव कल्ल चीरतुल कवी इड़किर सीम्बाल नेल वल्ली एरीर अल्ली कोड तिल हांडाल अव कन्न पाता अब 
ಕಣ್ಣ ಪಾತ ಅಯ್ಯೋಯಮ್ಮ ಕರುಣಾಗಪ್ಪ ಕೊಂದಮ್ಮ ಅವ ಕಲ್ಚಿರು ಕುಲ ಕವಿ ಎಂದಿರ ಸೀಂಬಾಲೆ ನೆಲವಳ್ಳಿ ಎರೆಯಿರ ಅಳ್ಳಿ ಕೊಡತಿಲ ಆಂಡಾಳೆ
pani mama rima pani pasani mama mari magari sani pani sagari maga uire vaadha tulakam வெள்ளைக்கிழமை வந்தாச்சு காலை வணக்கம் அருக வருக சவுத் சைட் எஃப் எம் வானொலி நிலையம் நீங்கள் இருக்கீர்கள் பிரஞ்ச் வைப் விஜயலட்சுமி பாலகிருஷ்ணா மற்றும் யோகம்பால் சிங்காரம் கேளுங்க ஒன்பது மணி முதல் பனிரெண்டு வரை சுவாகதம் சுஸ்வாகதம் சுபோதயம் பிரியமேன ஸ்ரோதல் அந்தரிக்கி ரா ரன்றி மாத்தோ விஜயலட்சுமி மரியு நான் பிரியமேன அக்கையா ஸ்ரீமதி யோகம்பால் பிரஞ்ச் வைப் காரியக்கமலோ தக்கின பாட்டுலு வினவச்சு பிரத்தேகங்க மீ கோசம்பே ரரண்டி சங்கீத சாகாரணி வெல்தாம் மீ கோல கள்ள மெருப்பு கொக்க ஓம் நமாகா நீ தேனி பெதவி எருப்பு கொக்க ஓம் நமாகா நீ பட்டு குருல நலுப்பு கொக்க ஓம் நமாகா
Yes, it's happening right here on the brunch vibe. Early in the morning, the party is starting today. Ooh, Akka, that's because, you know, it is a, was a weekend. Yes, absolutely. With your two favorites, uh, that's uh, Yogamal Singaram and Vijay Lakshmi Balakrishna. Right, come on, people. It's Friday. You know, everybody loves a, a Friday. So we are even in studio. Vijay Lakshmi and I, we have a blast. So come on, join us on the brunch vibe. Definitely stay with us. Uh, some riveting stuff until 12 o'clock for you. Our favorite people. That's the Southside FM Makkale. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Come on, come on.
Yes, yes. What can we say? Uh, some smooth grooves this morning. Uh, just for your listening pleasure, Southside FM 107.2, Aka Yogambal Singaram, and myself, that Rangas, Mangas, Brunchy Crunchy, Laurel and Hari. <laughs> Whatever it is, whatever you call us, we still love you the same. So join us from 9 o'clock right until 12 o'clock just today and every other day. Yes, some inspiration for you. The help does not always come from medicine. Sometimes it comes from peace of mind, peace in the heart, in the soul. And it comes from lots of laughter and love. Exactly. And that's what we like to give you. Heavy doses of three <laughs> hours every morning, 9 to 12 p.m. Actually, you can faint with some of our doses. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so Friday is like a superhero that sweeps in to save us from the mundane. Thank goodness. It's it's Friday. Time to unleash your inner sparkle. Friday is the sweet reward for surviving yet another week. And it better not unleash the animal in you, Aka. Okay? Oh, now that will come out slowly but surely. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, my baby. Tata a chance with me, Aka. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I tell you what, this, it, it's like, you know, sparkling so much. Everything is so bright in this studio all of a sudden, Makale. You don't know why. Tell them. Ah. Our Facebookers can Gamba, Kurti Chalama, studio will vandache. We want... Inge karame, mischief vandache. That's a double dose of mischief this morning. Uh, welcome uh, to Lalita. You know, we hardly get to see each other, Lalita. So, Vanga, Vanga, welcome. And uh, it, you're looking so beautiful tonight. Say hello to the Makal. <laughs> vanakam, vanakam, Makal. Uh, awesome to be here always. And especially with my two Akas. Uh, <laughs> so, very, very happy to be here. And I was just telling her, when I get into the car at uh, 9 o'clock, mm. and I hear these two poking at each yeah. other and uh, talking to each other and, you know, having a whole lot of fun in the studio. <laughs> While I'm driving, I got this big smile on my face. That's wonderful. To them. <laughs> and I just, uh, you know, and I just wanted to share that yesterday. Thank you. And 
Yes, Akaz, uh, I've got a stand on my car mm. where I can have my phone. So oh, it's not like, ah, it's yes, not you were wondering how am I said, using oh, the phone while like driving. She's so very sophisticated. Eh? <laughs> smart <laughs> gadget. <laughs> yes, no, but Lalita. Uh, so it was, um, yeah, it, you'll put a smile to everyone's face. I'm that's sure. right. That's what we want to hear. Make that's what we love. Thank you for that. So tell us uh, what's up for your show tomorrow. Lalita presents a weekend session every weekend. So tell us what's up. Uh, it's an informative show mm. on our culture, religion, strong roots, as I call it. Uh, so first mm. section is always informative, special for the Makkal, on different uh, things that happen with uh, prayer, mm -hmm. religion, culture. Lovely. And tradition. And the rest of it is lots of fun, uh, lots of celebration. You must leave something for me for Sampradaya on Sunday, <laughs> right? I have to say something like that. <laughs> That's the like favorite. That That's the favorite I of uh, Southside FM Makkal. They look forward to it. it. No, mm. I don't. But anyway. Any one of them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's so good to have you in studio with us, Lalita. It's, uh, thanks for coming in and saying hello and all the best for the weekend and uh, wishing Kenanji. you all the best. We're so proud of you that you are part of this amazing team. <laughs> I call it Chela Kuti. So, yes, thank you for stopping yes, by. Uh, thank you, Akas, for oh. always being so supportive oh, and anytime. caring. We are here it for you. It is because of, uh, she's my guru. Yogambal Singaram <laughs> is my dance guru. <laughs> so, because of her, I ended up coming here. Oh. And for all your support, Viji Akatru. No Akas problem. Oh. Welcome. Welcome. Andre, we have a very happy, positive family indeed. Definitely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you. we go. And also welcome uh, to our Southside FM's uh, Facebook uh, viewers as well. Hi there. Say hi, darling. Yes. yes, we should all get on that so you can see what mischief we get up to see it and believe it. <laughs> Seeing is believing. Stay with us right here on Southside FM 107.2. It is the Brunch Vibe. No, I want her to say oh. Brunch Vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Brunch Vibe. <laughs>
ஏத்தி விட்டத மறந்தாக்கா அந்த நன்றி என்னும் வார்த்தைக்கு ஒரு அர்த்தம் இல்ல கத்தில் கூட இல்ல எத்தனையோ பாடங்கள சொல்லும் பட்டம் வாத்தி யாரு தானடா Oh seven point two. It is the brunch five. Welcome to the show, and you know what? We're going to have an absolutely lovely three hours together. There's a message coming through from a dinner money, and she says, "Kali Venkam Aragane Akas and Southside family, we are joining you every day, and will never miss it. Trust you are well on this blessed Friday. Love you lots. Have an awesome weekend." Well, dinner money. By the way, I was telling my family about her yesterday, Vijay, mm. and they were totally impressed that someone at that age could go out and. complete the matriculation. No, definitely. Ah, We are all fantastic. extremely impressed. Patsy saying hi spicy girls. Uh what do you say? Lols Vijay and Yogs. Hi to you Patsy <laughs> as well. Here we go. First time's a tough. Keep falling, keep rising. Go with the flow. Everybody now, everybody now. my shadow knows where i go chedrata tarata padi padi vidagoda tapana gota kalabadi bolte ji bolte